In this video, I'm going to show you how to run aged creditor report. To do that, open Excel workbook containing aged creditor report. Make sure the Excel add-in In4Q and A11 is visible on Excel menu bar. Click on In4Q and A11, and then click the logon icon. Enter your user and password, and then click login. After login successful, Q&A functions previously disabled become enabled. In the field Business Unit, enter Business Unit to run balance sheet for report for example PK1. You may double-click cell C7 and select Business Unit from the list. In the field Account Code From, enter the first account code in the range to extract data from. For example 81001. You may double-click cell C8 and select account code from the list. In the field account code 2, enter the last account code in the range to extract data from. For example 81015. You may double-click cell C9 and select account code from the list. In the field aging date, enter the date to be used as cutoff for transactions included in the report for example the 31st of December 2005 or the 31st of December 2005 depending on the date format on your computer. To recalculate and extract new numbers from Sun Systems, click Run. Dialog displays with the message Please Wait. When the report running is completed, you will notice the report area is selected with new balances based on filter section values displayed. Your worksheet can switch between levels. To quickly control how much information is displayed in the worksheet, we will click the Levels buttons on the left of the worksheet. Click the lowest level 1 to display subtotal for each account while hiding the details. Click the next level, 2 to expand and display all worksheet details. On a subtotal, click on plus sign to display details on that group only, while minus sign to hide the details. That's all. The lesson is finished. See you next time.